Hello there and welcome to the new Pandas Tips and Tricks tutorial and this tutorial is taken from my book where I have presented like similar to this and many other examples that you find on a daily basis for the purpose of manipulating Pandas data frame. In today's video what I will do is the uh, I will going to do or create a pivot table. So pivot table is a very common form of data aggregation based on some sort of values or some sort of columns that we want to create. So for example, suppose if you want to aggregate these PCs for two different columns like sepal and sepal width or all the four columns, then how we can do that? Well, we can create a pivot table. And if you want this book, the link is present in the description from where you can get this book. All right, so what you need to first of all import is the pandas library. Here we don't need the NumPy library, but I usually import it in case ad hoc, in an ad hoc way, if I need to do any uh, manipulation or any sort of uh, summation or average and things like those. All right. So what I need to do is um, I will need to, first of all, use the iris as the data frame and I will just press pivot and then press the tab. I will have the pivot table. Pivot table has various different columns. If you will see, once you are inside the parenthesis and press shift and tab twice, that means shift tab tab, you will going to get this entire form where you can see what are all the values that it can takes. So by default, the aggregation function is mean. That means we will going to get the average, but we can change it to the sum or anything that we want. And then we have the values. So values is nothing but the numeric values, values, index and columns. So we don't have columns, but we have index, which is our species. So we will say values. Let's say we want only sepal length and sepal width. So we will say sepal dot leng length and sepal dot width w i d t h and uh, these are our values but we want index as the species so within the single quotation you will do that so once i execute you will see that we have got for each species satosa versicola virginica we have got the average because if i just go inside and press shift tab tab you will see that aggregation function is mean you can change the aggregation function to sum or to min or to max or standard deviation or things like those. So if I just do AGGFUNC equals to sum and now what you are getting is the sum. So this is a very quick tip and trick because I know it will going to be used a lot because uh, especially during when you are creating the data visualization, you will need these tables for the purpose of creating the bar chart or pie chart or things like those to better understand the data. So these tips and tricks uh, are present in my book. If you want, you can buy it from the given link given in the description.